Jennifer Sierra, lawmakers tell me it has to be an all-encompassing approach that both helps survivors and decreases the number in order to try and effectively curb the issue in the state. They sit up there and say that you no longer belong here. You don't belong here. You're going to bring trouble here. Annette Mango is a human trafficking survivor. She says when she first was trying to get housing and a job, she was met with an uphill battle. Most of these places said, hey, no, we, know we don't want you working here. And I said, why? They said, first of all, felons don't do a good job. They said, felons don't come to work. They said, felons steal. So I was already doomed. Under state law, human trafficking survivors can get their records expunged for limited offenses. But a new bill at the state house aims to expand the law to allow for certain misdemeanors and felonies to be expunged, like theft and drug possession. We believe in the promise of new life and new beginnings for those trapped in the despair of trafficking. Mango says when she got her record expunged, it changed her life. But Representative Josh Williams says while helping survivors is important, it's not the only piece to the puzzle. There's no reason our state is in the top five in the nation for human trafficking. House Bill 377, or the Enact Human Trafficking Prevention Act, aims to increase the penalty for all human trafficking, including a minor or a person with a developmental disability, creating life sentences for those offenses. We want to make sure perpetrators are held accountable for the true lifelong trauma that they cause to their victims. Representative Williams tells me these likely won't be the last bills introduced. He says lawmakers want to work on a multitude of bills in this area to address the issue. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.